Hi, I'm Jennifer with True Health For You, and today I'm gonna to be talking to parents. Um, I, I don't know why I've never made a video on this before, but I am today, and I'm really excited for it. Um, I, I have a 14-year-old daughter, and I completely understand how it can be a challenge when you are trying to get healthy, get out of pain, Maybe you just, you don't feel feel well and every day is a struggle. You know, maybe you're having money issues, um, you have time issues, and it's it takes everything just to work on yourself. And then you have these little humans <laughs> that you're mentoring and, you know, you're, you're trying to teach them about life and you're like, I'm just trying to get my life together, you know, let alone like instill principles in this person. And it's at the end of the day and you just came home from work and you were exhausted. And like your kids are like, dad, dad, mom, mom, you know, look at it. It's just, and it's like, all you want is peace and quiet. I know what that is like. Um, you know, right now it's like, I am a single mom and I, I have clients, I have my business that I'm constantly working on, I have my health, my nutrition routine, my exercise routine, and I am a very busy human being. I love it, I love my life, but there were times when I was even more stressed and frazzled and overwhelmed because I wasn't, I wasn't organized. And the tips that I'm gonna share with you today, I wish I was doing years ago, but it took all that trial and error to get to this point. And I'm still learning, right? Because your children are always changing. Their needs are always changing. Our needs are always changing. This isn't going to be like, yes, do these tips and all your problems will melt away. What I wanna teach you is the mentality that you need to have and a few tips in order so you can create something that works for you and your family. Because what works for me may not work for you. But there are principles that I'm gonna share in this video that you can totally utilize. So the first one is you gotta give yourselves and your children some slack. And it's really important to not only listening to your needs, you need to listen to your children's. And that was something for years I didn't do because I was, I had just recently got divorced and it took everything I had back then to just focus on the day and get what I needed to get done. I didn't even have the bandwidth to pay, really pay attention to, and when I say needs, I mean, when they want to play or when they want you to take them somewhere or you know what I mean? Like things like that, not you need to feed them. <laughs> but there were times in my life where even that was just so overwhelming to like get out of bed. If I was dealing with like depression or something from the past or anxiety, that was difficult and I had to do that. Um, so give yourself some slack, give your children some slack. You know, I know it can be frustrating sometimes when they're like, ah, but who else are they going to express their needs to? Remember that. It's not necessarily that they're always nagging you. It's like you're the person that is going to give them what they want. We have the luxury of providing what we want as adults. That was a big one for me. And the second one was really paying attention, taking a little bit of time, paying attention to your children's surroundings, what their life is like at school, um, I actually, this is just me, this may not work for you, but I actually pulled my daughter out of school. School was extremely stressful for her and it was damaging, um, it was damaging her mental health, her physical health, she was so stressed, sleep was bad, she wasn't eating, it just was a mess, it was an absolute mess. So I pulled her out and we do homeschool. And there were even some times with that, that it was just so stressful for her, we would have to take breaks. Even though that was not what was expected of us from the school, that wasn't expected from, you know, it's like, oh, no, 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 you have to stick to a schedule. No, you don't. You can create what you need to create and what works for your children and for, and for you. And there are times with my daughter, we have taken breaks because I had to learn how to adjust my schedule with hers. 
you know, at the end of the day, I'd have to tutor. So the point there is really pay attention and really listen to your ch children's needs. You might have to stop and just say, you know what, let's just take a break. And that's okay. It's okay to teach your children to take time for themselves. I know a lot of adults that I have to teach that to. I have to teach them how to fit themselves back into their lives. So why not start teaching your children that at an early age? Another thing is stop feeding garbage to children. You know, a lot, sometimes I'll hear parents say, oh, okay, I'm not gonna eat that, but I'm gonna give it to my kids. Kids have hormones too. You know, it's like, it's right now, this is a time when you wanna build their foundation. They, they need to eat well, their, their metabolism, their foundation for health. They can't be eating crap, you know? I mean, every once in a while, yes, yes, we all love treats, you know, stuff like that, but don't just feed them garbage. Give them good quality food and you'll be amazed at how their mood changes because they're getting the nutrients they need. Let them play, let them run, let them be get dirty, let them be loud, let them, you know what I mean? There's a time and place for it, but all of this, it helps with brain health, it helps with um, their chemical health, I mean, just everything. So it was tricky, you know, I was someone, I raised my daughter in the very beginning to be a raw, a raw vegan, basically, and then we shifted. When raw vegan, being a vegan, did not work for our health, we shifted, and so I had to slowly integrate her foods. And that kind of wigged her out a bit because I had like drilled in her that, you know, veganism was the way, and here I am changing it. And it, it took time, it took time, and allow that time to happen, that transition. You don't always change overnight either. Um, but feeding your children good food. And if they're like, no, no, I don't wanna eat it, you know, just be patient, hang in there, start slow. There are very easy, easy, yummy foods and fun foods that um, you can have your children try that I'm pretty sure that they'd love. You know, there's healthy marshmallows. You can make candy. I mean, and some of these recipes, I mean, it takes like 10 minutes at the most to prep and make. It's really simple things. Um, something that worked for my daughter was having her cook the meals. You know, having her, you know, especially with your older kids, having them make a meal because they're going to be proud of it. They're gonna eat the food that they prepare. So teaching them how to cook and take care of themselves, that also gets the load off of you, right? You know, teaching them how to do their own laundry, teaching them how to cook, things like that. Um, also, there's going to be times when, like just the other night, this happened to me the other night, I was busy, I had to work. I was like, I was tired. All I wanted to do, like after work, I just wanted to eat my dinner and I wanted to watch my Alaskan show. I love Alaskan shows, you know, like the, the wild, born free Alaskan shows, that type of thing. And that's what I wanted to do. But my daughter came in and she was so excited and she was like, mom, can we like hang out in my room, watch a movie? I had made burgers and fries and she was like, let's, you know, have a dinner and a movie in my room. I didn't want to do that. You know, she wanted to watch Godzilla. I did not want to watch Godzilla. I really wanted to watch my Alaskan shows. But I, I had to just stop and be like, you've been working all day. You know what I mean? This is the quality time. My daughter's 14. You need to spend time with them. And I tell you what, we had a blast, you know? And so now we're gonna do it like every other week. But it, I literally had to stop myself and say, no, do this. <laughs> And when you do it, I mean, it just, it is worth it. It's worth it to create those moments because it just helps the week go by smoother. They don't feel neglected, abandoned, ignored. You know what I mean? You don't feel like you're constantly nagging. You have a good time. Another thing that my daughter and I do, we like to play Uno at night. We don't do this every night, but even when... It's like, I know I like to be in bed by nine, I meditate, and then I lights are out, bedtime, 9.30. Between eight and nine, in my head, I'm like, okay, this is, that's the time we're gonna play cards or we're gonna play a quick little game, you know? And make it fun. 
You know, that my daughter likes to tell me things that I don't necessarily want to hear, but I have to take a deep breath and I'm like, okay, she's confiding in me, you know? Don't react, listen. This isn't the time to scold or you should be doing this and blah, blah, blah. Just listen, just listen. You know, there are times when we just need someone to listen for us, be that for them. Um, the, the big thing that saved me years ago, I hired a time management coach and I was looking at the time, making sure I'm not too long, uh, a time management coach. And she taught us how to schedule our time and make sure, making sure that we get all our tasks done and organize our time to where it wasn't overwhelming, right? We get all our tasks done throughout the week. It's not like we have to do everything in one or two days. And I, I hired her for me and I hired her for my daughter. And that was huge, that was huge. Because then it was fun because we were doing it together. We had the same program. You know what I mean? It's like my daughter was accountable to this coach. I was accountable to the coach. So then it kind of um, relieves um, or lifts some of that like tension between like child and parent. You know, it's like you're constantly telling them to do something. Um, if you're in a position to have um, a coach like that, do that, do that. Even if it's just for a week or two or a month, it is worth it. But being organized with your time. When I schedule out my day and I schedule out my personal tasks that I need to get done, my business tasks that need to get done, I was amazed at how much free time I actually have. I kept thinking like, oh my God, I looked at my calendar and it's color coded and I'm seeing all these colors and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so busy. But then I looked and I was like, oh my God, I actually have like a lot of free time. And during that free time, maybe there's days that you schedule time in with your kid, you know, but it's about being organized, being willing to just say, you know what, screw it. I'm just, let's take the day off or don't worry about that. If the litter box doesn't get cleaned out, if the room doesn't get made, you will live, it is not the end of the world. And when I kind of got that mentality down, uh, well, I shouldn't say, I'm still working on it, but when you have that mentality, it just goes by so much smoother, so much smoother. And it gives you some breathing room and it doesn't make you feel like you're gonna lose your mind because there were times where I have literally felt like I was gonna explode. <laughs> you know, handling everything plus your little one's, you know, life. So give yourselves, that's including your children, some slack and really pay attention. What, how is the best way for my family and how it runs? You don't have to be, the, you don't have to run your family like the neighbor does. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to do something different and, you know, don't worry about what other people think about you. You know, they got their own issues. But that's what has helped me. That is what I'm, con I'm continuously working on. But I hope that gave you some good pointers. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like it, um, click that notification button so you know when I pop on again. And thank you for watching. Bye.